So hello guys at puling nagbabalik ang inyong engineer, Benong. At ang pinakaunang conic section na aaralin natin ay circles. Okay, circle is defined as the locus of point such that it moves equidistant from the fixed point called the center. Ibig sabihin lang nun, ito, di ba ito yung center at kung maglalagay ako dito ng line at iikot ko yung line, yung line segment kong nabubuo ay equidistant lang sa center. Pag sinabi nating locus of point, yun po ay connect, uh, collection ng mga points. At pag yung points na yun ay pinag-connect-connect natin, ang mabubuo nga po nating locus ay isang circle. So, there are two ways of writing uh, the equation for a conic section. It would be the general equation or standard equation. General equation for circle is x squared plus y squared plus dx plus ey plus f equals 0. Remember that a and c has the same magnitude. Okay? With regards to its standard equation, um, the standard equation is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. Kung saan ang hk po ay center as seen in this figure. Pero po, kapag ang center mo naman, ay nasa origin lang, ay eh ito po ay magiging x squared plus y squared equals r squared para lamang pong isang Pythagorean theorem. Okay, remember that h, k is the center. h is the x coordinate while k is the y coordinate. Okay, keep in mind. And next, there are cases kung saan May dalawa po tayong circle at yung circles na yun ay orthogonal. Remember from my previous videos, orthogonal corresponds to the word perpendicular or normal. Ibig sabihin, may mabubuo ka pong angle na 90 degrees. So the two circles, C1 and C2, are said to be orthogonal or they are intersecting at right angles as seen in this figure if and only if masasatisfy nyo yung equation na to. We're in D1 times D2 plus E1, E2 is equal to 2 quantity F1 plus F2. D, E, and F are coefficients. Kung babalikan nyo dito, coefficients yun ng X, coefficient yun ng Y, at constant po yung F natin dito. Okay, so ganun lang po para masabi natin yung dalawang circles ay orthogonal. May mga problems po kung saan bibigyan kayo ng choices at ipapadetermine sa inyo kung yun ay orthogonal. Well, kailangan nyo lang pong i-perform ito. Okay? Another important topic about circles is the so-called radical axis. So, pag binigyan ka ng dalawang equation ng circle, this one and this one, para makuha mo lang po yung equation ng radical axis, pag mamainusin mo lang po itong dalawang equation. We don't need to memorize this one. Kahit po magkabaligtad, okay lang po yun. Pero ano po ba ang isang radical axis? Okay, let's say dito, tingin sa figure na to, di ba may point of intersection yan, ito tsaka ito. Ang radical axis po is a line passing through the intersection of those two circles. Eh, paano kapag hindi ganyan yung pagkaka-intersect ng circle na yan? Paano kung naging tangent lang sila sa isa't isa or nag-touch lang sila sa isang point? Well, yung point na yun, yun pa din po yung dadaanan natin ng radical axis. Ito naman pong point na to, ito lang yung tinatawag nating line of centers kung saan yan yung line natin na nagko-contain ng centers nung circle natin. Okay? Again, ulitin ko, radical axis lamang po. Pag mamainusin mo lang yung dalawang equation ng circle. Okay? So, let us start solving different problems. Find the equation of the radical axis of the following circles. Circle 1, x squared plus y squared minus 5x plus 3y minus 2 equals 0. x squared plus y squared plus 4x minus y minus 7 equals 0. Find the equation of the radical axis of the following circles. x squared plus y squared minus 5x plus 3y minus 2 equals 0. x squared plus y squared plus 4x minus y minus 7 equals Zero. Okay, at sabi dun sa problem natin, kuhain daw natin yung equation ng radical axis. Binigyan tayo ng dalawang equation. Para sa circle 1, we have x squared plus y squared minus 5x 
plus 3y minus 2 equals 0. While the second equation is x squared plus y squared plus 4x minus y minus 7 equals 0. So to get the equation of the radical axis, you just have to sub subtract these two equations. So pag pinag-minus natin yan, di ba makakansin lang naman ang x squared at y squared. So negative 5x minus 4x, you have negative 9x. And then 3y minus negative y, you have positive 4y. Negative 2 minus negative 7, that is positive 5 equals 0. So this is the equation of your radical axis. Rearrange lang natin, that is equal to 9x minus 4y minus 5 equals 0. So, ganun lang po kadali ang pagkuha ng equation ng radical axis. Okay? So, here is the figure of the problem. What is the radius of the circle x squared plus y squared plus 4x minus 2y plus 1 equals a zero. What is the radius of the circle x squared plus y squared plus 4x minus 2y plus 1 equals a zero? A1 of B. For the second problem, you are asked to find the radius of your circle. So given this equation, paano ba natin makukuha yung radius? Well, kailangan po natin hanapin yung standard equation ng ating circle. Kung babalikan po natin, ang standard equation is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared, wherein h and k are the coordinates of your center, and r squared, or simply r, is your radius. So, ito ay gagawin natin kamukha nito by completing the square. So, regroup natin. Pagsamasamahin natin yung may x, pagsamasamahin natin yung may y, at lahat ng constant, i-transfer natin sa right hand, side, right hand side ng ating equation. So, x squared plus 4x, ang ginagawa ko agad dyan, plus blank, plus y squared minus 2y plus blank, equals, di ba, transpose negative 1, may ilang blank, ay sorry, plus blank, may ilang blank, dalawa. So, plus blank, plus blank. Okay? Anong ilalagay natin dito? Sa mga block, ang ilalagay natin dyan ay b over 2 squared. Remember, quadratic equation to in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c. So, yung binatin dito is 4. 4 divided by 2, that is 2 squared 4. Kung may nilagay ka dyan 4, may plus 4 din dito. And then, Ano ilagay ko dito? Ganun pa din. B over 2 squared. Negative 2 divided by 2, that is negative 1. Negative 1 squared, that is positive 1. So, that is also plus 1 here. Okay? And then, kailangan natin gawing ganito. Binomial lang. Okay? Diba, dinivide natin kanina. 4 divided by 2. So, that is x plus 2 squared. And then kanina, dinivide natin negative 2 divided by 2, that is negative 1. So that is y minus 1 squared. And then negative 1 plus 4 plus 1, that is just simply 4. Diba? Ito ay kamukha na ng ating standard equation in the form of x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. At makikita mo that r squared is equal to 4. Extract ko yung root, both sides, r is just equal to 2. So, malinaw na malinaw na ang radius natin ay 2 units. Okay? Hindi pa po ito yung radius ha kasi naka-square pa po yan. So, ang gagawin mo, extract mo lang yung root, kuha mo na. So, ganun lang po kadali ang pagkuha ng radius ng ating circle by completing the square. May ilang differences na meron pa mga formulas, hindi ko po yung sinasuggest. Ang sinasuggest ko pong gamitin is completing the square kasi dadagdag pa yun sa sa nyo. Okay? So, please copy.